And welcome into Gator Bites and the 1010XL.com <laughs> podcast network, also being simulcast on the Florida Gator 1010XL Facebook page. Today's Gator podcast is brought to you by Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. Uh, numerous locations, including the north side, the south side, the beaches, Fleming Island, and St. John's. Uh, he is Denny Thompson. I am That's not. not bad. I know. I know. That's really, you even have like the same voice inflection that Hacker had yeah, at the yeah, beginning. Yeah. That's solid. The north side, the south yeah, side. Right. <laughs> right. Like, that, that's not bad. Not bad at all. And then, um, Hack, then, watch out. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've only been I've only been listening to that intro for for three years now. <laughs> well, you need to tell people who you are, though. I know I am uh, I am Graham Marsh. You you probably hear my voice from time to time chime in on the podcast, and I've been on other podcasts as well. Uh, I pretty much co-host Tommy Tommy Max podcast with him. Um, but Hack is out today. Uh, he is, I think, exploring the wonderful world of Orlando, Florida. Oh, I thought he went in the portal. <laughs> I, I just I just assumed Hack that is Hack, under, Hack's under the podcast transfer portal. All I know is Hack hit me up, was like, hey, I need your contact at George Moore because i got to take a roadie. <laughs> I'm going to make a couple stops around SEC country, right, maybe, right, maybe right, a little right, ACC right, right. country. And so I had him hit up Justin Moore. Right. Got him put in a brand, brand new, beautiful Tahoe. Mm-hmm. Made all that up, by the way. But, um, yeah, and no, I just thought he was like exploring his options. That kind of seems to be the thing to do right now. Right. So speaking of, we do need to shout out George. Moore. I just did George Moore yeah. Chevrolet. Get, go over there and see Justin Moore, y'all. I'm serious. Like really good people. You're going to buy a car at some point. Your car is going to need an oil change service, whatever it is. You might as well go do that with good people. Uh, George Moore Chevrolet over off Atlantic Boulevard. They'll get you taken care of. So I think uh, nothing to talk about, right? Yeah, exa- exactly. We were we were discussing this week. Um, we knew Hack Ruby out of town and. But with what's happened, I think there's just too much, too many newsworthy things to not have a have a podcast and discuss. Um, we care too much about the consumers of Gator Bites to to leave them out in the cold. You just need to get it out of your system. I, I think so. I think that's part of it as well. Yeah. Um, I think this will be therapeutic for me. Mm. I like that. <laughs> by the way, it's solid. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, so, what are we going to first? Are we going? Uh, are we? Are we? Are we just stay in transfer portal? Is that what we're talking about? Are we talking about roster? Are we talking about kind of the the way forward with Florida? Are we talk? Are we still sulking in the past? Like. Where are we at as Gator fans right now? Because I think we're right in the middle of like yesterday, as bad as it was with ETN hitting the portal, and the day before that with Prince. I, I, I don't, I don't think there's going to be a lot of good news in the next week. I don't either. Right? If you look at the way this portal's going right now, and I'm not talking about Florida, I'm talking about everybody. Um, obviously, with what I do, we have guys in the portal right now, and it's taken up 75 percent of my day. Is, Jeff is, is in the portal. Right? Is portal conversations? Did he go in? Uh, I think I saw. Okay, it's it was a guy that I know you somewhat, but I'm I thought it was Jeff. All right. I'll double yeah. check it. Yeah, yeah, you can't just be saying that out loud now. Well, that, I saw it on one. social. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I, I don't. You check on that real quick. But my my point is, I don't. When I say I don't think you're going to get much great news, like I, it's not. Nobody's going to get great news, with the exception of maybe guys who are looking to keep their own guys who don't go in the portal, right? Like the way this portal is going right now is these guys are out. They, they just went in. It just opened. If you didn't already have your landing spot, then you're just taking visits at this point, right? If you're elite of elite, I wouldn't anticipate somebody like ETN having to go take a bunch of visits. I'm sure he pretty much knows what he's doing at this point. But 99% of these guys have a decision to make, and they didn't – this wasn't one of those things where they already knew coming out. A lot of the a lot of the already knew, by the way, is from high school recruiting. I really like this coach, and now he's here and he's winning. And I'm going to hit him up after going to the portal, and he still loves me, so I go there. Right? There's a relationship. There's some money. The other 99 percent of that is like old school. They're going to take visits. It's it's like they're back in high school. It, yeah, it, except for they're not like weekend visits. They're not taking pictures. It's the visits when you're in the portal, and this is actually probably pretty good information, and I only speak from the quarterback side. I I don't know about any other position. It's we're going to fly in. We're going to meet with the coach. We're going to watch some film. Um, We're going to hear what you do. We're going to show you what we do. We're going to show you how much we know, all that kind of stuff. And what we're really looking for at this point is a good fit. right? And I'm going to wrap this around to Florida in a second. Is we're looking for a good fit that we can get on the field and when we get on the field, we feel comfortable that this, what they do, fits our skill set, and you've got the pieces around that are going to make me successful as a quarterback. 
I don't care about going and taking pictures. Most of our guys don't even care what conference or where in the country it is. These are 20, 21, 22-year-old young men who understand that they got one more chance to make the right decision, and that impacts millions and millions and millions of dollars in their future. Not not NIL, but NFL, right? Um, Florida's got to find – I was thinking about this on the way in. Florida's got to find a way to make that pitch um, more inviting than others. Meaning, if I go to uh, – give me an up-and-coming team, not Georgia, Ole Miss. Right? Yeah, I would say so. If I go to Ole Miss, when I walk in Ole Miss, there's going to be an energy about Ole Missouri. Miss. Missouri. Missouri's a great one. There's going to be an energy about these, these places that – that when I go in as a prospect, I'm going to feel, I'm going to see they come off winning seasons. There's optimism. Their fan base is happy. Coaching and being talked about being fired. None of that kind of stuff. How do you overcome all of that if you're Florida? Like, because there's not a good energy down there. Your fan base is not happy. Your coach is talking about being fired. So they don't, this money stuff, guys, like, yeah, you're hearing the big numbers from the elite guys, but national championships are one with the guys that you're not hearing the big numbers by. Right. And so, yeah, you can compete for those guys. Maybe you have to offer them an extra twenty thousand dollars or something like that. But those are the guys I'm talking about. Those are the guys looking at making real decisions and giving everything that they have to university for two years with the hopes of winning some football games, getting some great experience, get on the field and then getting on Sundays. And that's the problem right now at Florida. What is that pitch? Like, I don't know what that pitch is. What are you telling these guys besides, hey, come play in the SEC? Vanderbilt can say that, right? Hey, come play in the swamp. Okay. I can go play at LSU. I can, and I, listen, I know the swamp is dope. I was at Tennessee a couple weeks ago. Phenomenal. Place is rocking, right? My only point is there's many versions of the swamp everywhere. What, and I'm asking you, what can Florida tell these guys that they are competing for? What can they tell them that makes them go, yeah, I feel good about this? Would uh, would having a defensive line and a defensive backs coach on staff help? It would help. It would I mean, help. like, what are we doing? It, it, would it would help. It would help. You shouldn't have fired them in the first place. Those were sacrificial fires. But, but either way, whether you agree they should have been fired or not, they were fired, what, a week ago? More? More than that, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, they were fired are, the last time we did this. I mean, this, is the, been fired this is the hottest time of the year, both portal and high school, to recruit. Early signing days in what, like a week and a half, two weeks, something like that? Mm-hmm. Uh, the 20th, yeah. Oh, you know, no, but I'm asking, man. but again, but again at, at what, what? Let's, let's, before we start as Gator fans diving in, to successes or failures a month from now in the portal. Let's just take a seat back and go, what's the pitch? What What is the pitch to go to Florida? If I just – I just checked it, and they, it was reported yesterday, Jeff. Okay. Uh, anyway. Okay. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I can't. Let's just keep it moving. All right. That's right. <laughs> um, uh, if you're a linebacker that's leaving uh, – Clemson Mm -hmm. right now it's your point why am I going to why in the world would I consider going to Florida you're at a closer age where you can think of it as if it's you I'm at an age because I have a 22 year old son where what would I tell my son to do right um I, I I don't know unless my son is in that world of, um, let's say, Wake Forest, Vanderbilt, maybe a MAC team, maybe Washington State, maybe Arizona State, and then all of a sudden there's Florida. Okay, 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 okay. I don't don't sell me too hard on that. Like, And I'm sure all those other places are fine places, but y'all know what I get what you're saying, though. But if my options are, because as Gator fans, we expect this to be the case. If my options are Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State or even Ole Miss, or even Missouri and Florida. What what am I going to tell my son? Why, why am I going to tell my son to go to a place that I don't know the coach is going to be there in two years? 
I don't know the talent around them. To your point, they got coaches that they don't have. They have a good class right now. It's not as good as it was a month ago. But, y'all, that can fall apart in two weeks, and I'm not trying to be negative because I'm going to bring all this back around. Um, But what am I going to tell them? And so what you have to do at this point is you have to turn in. This is the genius of Mike Norvell. Is You look at the guys that Mike Norvell got. Mike Norvell got guys that weren't transferring from Georgia or Ohio State. Right, You have to figure out a way to capture some type of energy here to where when you bring those guys in that you feel like you have evaluated and they are SEC quality and they can help you get to eight wins next year, you, you have to figure out a way to go find those diamonds in the rough right now. You're, you're, you're probably not going to win a ton of head-to-head competitions right now with the people that you think are your rivals or that are your rivals. Florida State's best defensive player was from Albany. Mm-hmm. And they told the FSU staff has told the story before. They found him when they were watching film of somebody right. else who was playing Albany. Happens all the time. And they time. noticed this dude, and they were like, oh, my God, who the hell is this guy? Mm-hmm. Before they know it, he's your best defensive player, and he's going to be a first-round draft pick. Yep. Their staff, Florida State staff, their ability to talent ID transfers is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think we've seen anything like it in college football. That Their ability to – because – you can, you can draw a lot of parallels. I know a lot of people already have. You can draw a lot of parallels between Florida State and, and Florida and the state of their programs they were at. Mike Norvell two years ago yep. versus Florida now. Mike Norvell's seat was getting really warm. It was exactly like it was, Billy Napier. It was scorching hot, basically, yeah. Yeah. at the end of year two. Yep. And I think that Norvell, at the time, had this vision – of we're going to build through high school, we're going to recruit, we're going to do the normal thing, get my guys in, you know, just get a little bit better, you know, here like, and just slowly build this thing, right? And then I think he realized after year two, I think, I think Mike Norvell and his staff had to look in the mirror and say, if we don't get players in here right now that can help us win games right now, we will not be here in 12 months to be able to develop these guys we brought in. So they did. Mm-hmm. That offseason was when Jared Verse and Johnny Wilson came in and, and Jordan Travis a couple years before and Keon Coleman this year, uh, Trey Benson. That, that's when all these guys came in. Now, Keon Coleman wasn't that. Keon Coleman, was everybody wanted him. Well, right, but, but I got your point. But yeah. the point is that Keon Coleman's a good example of you, you were just saying, and I agree with you, what is Florida's pitch right now? They're mm-hmm. not in the mix for guys like that. Yep. If you go get the Jared Verse guys – and that helps you win for a year and get a little bit more established in the program, then you are in play for guys yep. like that. If you if you go win eight games next year, which I don't think they're going to do because their schedule is murderers, bro, but if they were, if they were to get enough guys around the country, even if it is from Arizona State, Oregon State, whatever, even if it is more Ricky Pearsall type guys, and they win eight games, now you are in play for dudes like that. Flip it back to Florida. If Trevor Etienne was transferring from elsewhere, but he was the same player. He would be, he's extremely desired, obviously. Mm -hmm. Let's Let's say that he was transferring away from Clemson or something, somewhere that's not Florida. Florida would not be in play for him. No, no. At all. They wouldn't have an argument. That's the problem. Well, here's here's the good news in this is is I think uh, when you look at this, and we're talking about this on a podcast, they obviously talk about this every single day. Y'all, they want to win worse than we want them to win. They... They being the coaching staff, I know these guys. They are the ultimate competitors, and I can assure you they're not sleeping well at night right now. Like, it is all hands on deck. What do we got to do to turn this thing around? Um, they got to lean on their evaluation. Like, what we're saying. That, that's the answer. Is you, you've got to put your pitch together, and in that pitch, you've got, to, you've got facilities now. Now, now you've you got to get these guys in town, and that's the problem. Because we've got a short window to make a decision. I'm going this with, through this with some guys right now. We're in the portal. A ton of interest. Y'all, we only got time to make like three or four trips. Yeah. If you're really thinking about it, because you got to be enrolled in January. you got to be in classes, right? So you, you don't have time. You don't have four months to make all these trips. you got time to go, okay, we're going to take this trip, this trip, and this trip. That's it. That's it. And if we get through with those and then we still don't have a good feeling, then we'll take a fourth, right? And these, like I said, are one-day, two-day trips. you got to get people to Gainesville. So that's your first battle. This guy hits the portal. I'm going to call him. I know he's going to take two or three trips. I don't have much time. And I'm competing against Auburn. I'm competing against Alabama, USC, whoever it is. Your first win is you got to get them on campus. And then when they get on campus, man, 
You better hope for freaking Chamber of Commerce Day in Gainesville. And you better have those facilities sparkling. And you better have the NIL guy right there. And you better have Graham Merch. And you better have the advanced stats that Florida actually, in some cases, was actually pretty good at this year. You better have those stats ready. And you better have an absolute plan on what you're going to do with that individual. You better make it all about him. You got to empty the clip on each. I mean, place. everybody that walks in that place, because that if you get them, that's where your culture starts. Your culture starts with that. They walked into the door. They felt the love and they felt like they're on a mission to bring Florida football back. This is not Florida football being down. It's not their problem. We got to remember that. It's not their fault. It's not their problem. You have to make them feel like they are part of your mission to get to this togetherness phase of, of, of championships, of winning again. And so that when you bring your grandkids back, you can sell that to them. That's the only way you do this. That's the only, You better have Steve Spurrier there. You better have Tim Tebow there. You better have Danny Warfel there. You be, and I don't care if you've got to pay them all a million dollars to be there. You, you better have Percy Harvin there. You better have whoever you can have that is from the glory days, needs to be living in Gainesville these next couple of weeks. And these kids coming in need to see the old Gainesville, not the new Gainesville, the old Gainesville with new facilities and some money. And then that's how you have to get these kids because these kids aren't dumb, man. Like they understand this is minor league. They're trying to get Sundays. That's where the money is. NFL's got way more money than NIL. Right. That's, That's all they're trying to do. And if you can't help them get there and they have a little bit of fun and make a little bit of money in the way on the way, you're screwed. Period. How do you do that with your current roster, too? That's, That's why you're paid what you're paid. You, you, you got to figure that out. You, I it, always it like like the point is like Trevor Etienne leaves yesterday. How much faith do we have that if things aren't going well at the end of next year, that Eugene Wilson doesn't hit the none and Shamar James. Isn't but you can't worry about, about that. I, I don't disagree, but. You kind of have to. I, I, you, time. Well, you can't. You you really can't. You, it, and this is not coach speak. I think athletes would agree with me on this. You start looking ahead a year, you're done. You're falling behind. It, it, this has got to be who do who do we have today? What is our worry today? Oh, we got this kid who's really good. We've we've been scouting him from Central Michigan. I'm making that up, right? And he's coming in town. Man, this guy better feel like the president. And I'm not saying baby them, coddle them, and there's Florida fans going, well, they should want to play for the logo. They don't. Right, right. That okay? doesn't exist. It, it, you yeah. can say that all you want. That doesn't exist. Right. It's not a thing. Right? It, it's, it's advancement. That's what, by the way, by the way, that's what college is supposed to be. The whole thought of college is I'm going to college to advance my career. Right, right. It's the same thing with football. I'm better when I leave than I was when I showed up. Right. Right. It's going to lead me to provide for my family. And so you, development is key in life and sports. You better find a way that you can show development better than anybody else can. We got a, we got a dip. Uh, but really, God, that was short. I know it was short. But, uh, but really quickly, um, where do you think Trevor Etienne goes? I don't know. I, I I have man I, I've just been with our guys I I don't know early reports are Alabama Ohio State and Georgia, mm. which adds up because the which adds up because the rumors for why he may leave were to be that he wants to go win it's not about splitting carries and he wants to go to to play for him. I think he wants I think he wants carries like I, I would think he wants carries um I got to know him pretty well during Anthony's draft prep amazing young man yeah like awesome dude I don't know enough about Ohio State. But my gosh, him with Milro or him with Carson, if he comes back, whew, stop it, stop it. Florida fan, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna, it's not probably not now, probably not next year. But Florida State was there. I mean, you can go through. Alabama was there before right, they got right, Saban. Right. Like everybody's been there. This thing's cyclical. It's going to be okay. I can promise you. I can promise you that that whole staff right now is twenty four seven. Yeah. There is no sleep in Gainesville. Now, whether or not you have the right guy is a whole different thing, and I'm not going to get into that today. I, I still believe – I still really like Billy. I, I really like what he does, um, who he is as a person. Now they just got to work, and they got to figure this out. That's why you're paid. If you can't figure it out, you don't have a job, just like the rest of us. And on that note, go to George Moore Chevrolet. And if you get fired up and you tear an ACL this weekend or something like that, or even just sprain an ankle – like, go see my boys at Southeast. I've been with Southeast for a long time. Go hit time up now. Southeast, man. Your, back, your back's hurting from sitting in your cubicle for a long time this week. Your knee's hurting from your jogs. Uh, your, did yeah, you, did maybe you, it's did your you, car. 
Maybe your car is so old that your back's hurt and the seats aren't good. Now we knock out both of our guys. Go buy a new car at George Moore and then go see Southeast. Get that stuff fixed. Let's 2024, y'all. Let's be healthy. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. All right. You guys know where to find us. Gator Facebook page, 1010XL Facebook page, YouTube, Twitter, Spotify, all, all of the above. You guys know where to find us. Thanks for listening.